I never uh, adjusted my watches to show daylight saving time. Some years ago, when my children were uh, small and should start to learn the clock, uh, I switched actually the hands one hour forward, but then I continued to add one hour. So I came one hour too late for three meetings. That was the only time in these 30 odd years that I have uh, switched the hands and I should never try that again. I've always just lived with that fact that summertime is, is a weird fact in the rest of the world while at home we were normal. Many countries in South America and Africa, as well as Russia and Australia, have already decided to discontinue their use of daylight savings. Jürgen is hoping that Denmark and the rest of Europe will also abandon the proposal suggested by Benjamin Franklin in the 1700s. Jürgen founded the Association of People Against Daylight Savings in 2002 with a view to encouraging the Danish Parliament to take action and campaign in the European Parliament for daylight savings to be abolished. Since we made the association, well, before that I thought I was just awkward or special and I was, oh, I was alone in the world with this point of view. Well, then we had an association. We were two people, and since that, it has grown, and now we are 5,000, so we're going in the right direction. There are a growing number of groups on Facebook, which is against daylight saving in Sweden, Spain, Belgium, and so on, and Germany, of course, and France. Um, and we are trying to track down these groups and contact them, and so, so we can get this united European effort, because that's what's needed. We, we can't do that at, as Danes alone. Jürgen's arguments against daylight savings range from mild inconveniences like the sundial rendered useless to the change in usual working hours since daylight savings was first introduced. Nowadays, uh, it's much more fluctuating when, when people go to work. You could still have all these long hours that you already have, so it's not so important any longer. Work is not related to the time of day in, in the way it was during the industrial uh, era and we are not we are living in a new era now the most serious argument Jürgen presents against daylight savings is relating to health issues as a result of switching the clocks forward all the health issues which haven't been analyzed and in fact it costs around 25 Danes the life each year if you have a weak heart what you do here in the uh, spring is you produce an extra hour of stress and that might be just the bit which tips the load and, well, your heart stops working. Research carried out by the New England Journal of Medicine over a period of 19 years shows an increase in the number of fatal heart attacks in the week after daylight savings takes place in the spring. The red markings on the graph show the increase in fatal heart attacks in the days following daylight savings in the spring in comparison to a normal week. Jürgen says the health issues relating to daylight savings are what he intends to highlight to the Danish parliament. He has the support of his family in his campaign to have it abandoned. I think it's hard to be as much into the cause <laughs> as my father. I'm as uh, passionate about, the, about changing uh, daylight saving time. I don't think it has any valid cause. Um, so why not just change it? Two or three years from now, there is the next election for the European Parliament. And I would say, wouldn't it be nice to have that as an issue of the European Parliament at, at that time? And I think that will be a good point. Also, realistic uh, schedule for, for, for abandonment of daylight saving in Europe.